Alrighty, pre-Friday, we are so close. Man, this week has been something else. Um, hopefully you guys don't hear all the construction that's going on outside the apartment, but they, they've been on it lately too. So I had told you last week that I was planning on putting together uh, my new training that I've been doing through a bodybuilding cycle. And I meant to drop it today, but it's taking a little bit more time than I anticipated. So I don't want to rush it or you know, half-ass deliver on you guys. So we are going to do one more blog reading. I hope you guys don't mind too much because there should be a little bit of value in this for you because you don't have to work out. So that's also the title of the blog that I'm about to read to you. Working out is a privilege and not a chore. I feel like these are fighting words for some reason. I guess it takes me back to when I got grounded by my parents and they would say, literally any common teenage activity is a privilege, not a given. Well, damn it all, turns out they were right about more than going to the drive-in after the football game with some friends. Working out is something we get to do, not something we have to do. Let me tell you about my week thus far. This was a couple weeks ago. Monday, I was up at 5 a.m. Ran around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to make an appointment, only to realize I stood someone up in my hurry. Not only that, the appointment that I was in such a hurry to make didn't even show. Man, karma worked so fast that day. I didn't get home till 10 p.m. that night, meaning I wasn't in bed till 11. Tuesday, I got up at 4.30 a.m. and in my sleep deprived state, I thought my laptop might be thirsty. So I opened my water bottle put it in my backpack, drove 30 minutes to the gym, only to discover it had been sitting in the water the whole time. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the whole debacle unfold. That night, I thought to myself, all right, get your ass in bed early, get some sleep. Boy, was I wrong. I couldn't go back to sleep until 3 a.m. and my first personal training session of the day was at 5.30. So why am I telling you all this? Because somewhere between pulling my dripping wet laptop out of my bag and staring myself down through bloodshot eyes at the witching hour, I thought, man, I have no idea how I'm gonna muster the energy to work out. That's when it hit me. I was being ungrateful. Life sometimes gets in the way. So what? We get so caught up in what we're doing that it transforms from being able to do these things and having to do them. Like the title of this post suggests, we don't have to work out. You get to work out. We can't let the constant piling of chores, responsibilities, and appointments take away from what an amazing activity exercise is. It's our time of self-exploration. It's our celebration of what our body can do, not a punishment for what we eat. We can run, jump, push, pull, sprint, lift, carry, and the best part is we can grow to become better at all those things. Attach working out to your morals and it becomes second nature to exercise. I think it's safe to say being constantly grateful is a moral that we can all get behind, hopefully. When we set out into the world with this at the forefront of our minds and frame exercise as something to be grateful for, working out suddenly becomes so much easier to do, not to mention it becomes much more enjoyable. This new frame of mind won't come easy and it definitely doesn't stay easily. So. Whether or not it's our first time hearing this, consider this your reminder. Be grateful for what you have. Celebrate what your body can do. Be thankful for your ability to grow. I hope you found something that you can take with you going into the weekend from this post, and I appreciate you tuning in. If you think someone else needs to hear these words, go ahead and send it to them, or subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, if you have any other questions or you have requests on other topics to cover, let me know and I'll for sure do that. I will see you guys on the next one.